welcome back to my channel so this time i have a walmart haul for you guys this is a very small haul and while i was inside of walmart i went to check the clearance section and i was able to find some clothes for my son and my daughter for super super cheap so i'm going to explain that to you guys but before i get into these deals if you guys are watching this video and you are not currently subscribed to me, I would really appreciate if you guys would go ahead and click that subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you will be aware of each and every time that I upload a video. Also, you guys, if you are watching this video and you just so happen to see an ad pop up, I would greatly appreciate if you guys would let the ad play all the way through because that really helps out my channel. So if you guys would like to support me in any type of way, then watching the ads will really, really help. And with that being said, let's get right into the deal. So you guys, as you guys can see, I have some of this natural choice chicken and cheddar little snacky snacks. Some um, ham right here. I have four packages of the smaller packs of ham. This is the two ounce. I have some Welch's juice, some Poise Ultra Thin Pads. And then I also have some clearance price clothes right here. So the first thing that I'm going to go ahead and start with, I guess, is going to be the... Um, little snacky snacks right here at least that's what my kids call them so these right here are priced at walmart for a dollar and 48 cents ibotta does have a one dollar rebate back the limit is five and i did go ahead and pick up five of them so you will pay 148 out of pocket submit your receipt to ibotta for a dollar and that will make this just 48 cents so i paid 48 cents for each of these and then with the buttock ham back here, this is the 16 ounce. I'm sorry, that is not even ham. That is turkey. So with the buttock turkey back here, that is the 16 ounce. This is priced at my store for $3. Ibotta does have a rebate back for $1. So you will pay $3 out of pocket. Submit your receipt to Ibotta for $1. And that'll make this package of turkey just $2. And then right here with the smaller packs, this is the honey ham, the two ounce. So these are priced at Walmart for 57 cents. And I purchased a total of four because Ibotta does have a rebate to where you can receive $1 back when you purchase four. So 57, 57 cents times four is $2.28. So you will pay $2.28 out of pocket and you will submit your receipt to Ibotta for $1. That will bring your total down to just $1.28 for all or $0.32 cents each. For the Welch's juice, this is the Berry Pineapple Passion Fruit. This is priced at my store for $2. Ibotta does have a rebate for $0.75 cents back. So you will pay $2 out of pocket. Submit your receipt to Ibotta for $0.75. Cents, and that will bring your total down to just $1.25. But not only that, if you have the Shop Kicks app, you can get back a total of $1.06 making this juice just 19 cents so you will get back 15 points for just scanning the product and that will be six cents for you and then when you submit your receipt you will get back a total of 250 points which equals to a dollar so you will get back 106 from shop kicks and that will make this container of welch's juice just 19 cents and this is the 59 ounce so paying 19 cents for some juice is really really good so if you do not have shop kicks i will have a link in the description box below where you can sign up i forgot how many points you will receive when you sign up using my code but you should receive some points so go ahead and click that link in the description box below so that was all that i got um so let me just go ahead and show you guys my receipt because this right here i did on a different day i don't have the receipt but i do still have the tag um on these so i will show you how much i paid um uh, based off of the tag but this is just what i did in one transaction so let me go ahead and show you guys my receipt so as you guys can see the juice rung up two dollars the turkey rung up three dollars all four of the honey hams rung up at 57 cents the chicken and cheddar little snacks rung up at a dollar 48 each and then the Oh, I forgot to explain the Poise uh, Ultra Thin Pads. So for the Poise Pads, these are priced at my store for $8.72. Now, when I was on my way to Walmart, my goal was to grab the packages that were priced at $4.18. Because before I went to the store, they had them in stock. At least that's what it showed on my app. 
but when i got to the store i was unable to find the ones that were priced at 418 i guess they were out or something so i went ahead and grabbed this one box right here and this is priced at, and this is the um 48 count and this is priced at eight dollars and 72 cents ibotta does have a rebate back for three dollars so you will pay $8.72 out of pocket, submit your receipt to Ibotta for $3, and that will bring your total down to $5.72. If you check your Fetch Rewards app, Fetch Rewards also has a rebate for this for 3,000 points, which is $3. So um, $5.72 minus the 3,000 in points, $3 that you will get back from Fetch Rewards, that will bring the total down to just $2.72 for this box of Poise pads now the thing about this is that the deal can be even better because if you go to the poise website www.poise.com you can print off a two dollar or maybe even a three dollar coupon to use on these if you can print the three dollar it will make these completely free and if you can print off the two dollar coupon it will make this box just 72 cents now the reason why i didn't print off that coupon is because lately since i've been going to walmart none of my paper coupons have been printing I went to Walmart, I want to say about two or three days ago, and I needed to use five different coupons on five different items, and not one of my coupons scanned. And honestly, I did not feel like being bothered with the CSM because they, right now, normally, whenever I have an issue with the coupon not scanning, even if that, that coupon matches the item that I have, they will push it through. Now, I don't know if this is just their new policy, but they won't even push the coupon through. They're just like, if the coupon doesn't scan, it just doesn't scan. And so I didn't want to deal with that. And so, but if you can, I mean, just because it's not scanning in my store, you know, it may scan at your store. So just check it out, test it out to see if it's scanned, or maybe you will get lucky enough and they will push the coupon through for you. But um 8.72 and you only paid two dollars and 72 cents that is still a great price for these right here so it's up to you how you want to do that okay and so that rung up at 8.72 and then as you guys can see my subtotal came out to be 23 dollars and 40 cents not including taxes i did use a gift card on this transaction so i didn't have to pay anything out of pocket and i withdrew that um 20 uh, no it was a 50 dollars gift card i withdrew it from ibotta thanks to all of you guys who have been using my code i was able to withdraw 50 dollars just from referring you guys to ibotta so thank you for that so i didn't have to pay anything out of pocket so but with the taxes it, it brought the total to $24.81, but technically I only paid uh, $23.40. And then from Ibotta, I got back a total of $10.75 back from my bottom. So $23.40 minus the $10.75 that I got back from Ibotta, that brought my total down to just $12.65. And then I got back my $3 from Fetch Rewards. So $12.65 minus $3 that I got back from Fetch Rewards, that brought my total down to just $9.65. And then remember, I got back that $1.06 from Shopkicks. That brought my total down to just $8.59 for everything that you see right here. I do have a total of 12 items. So um, the $8.59 divided by the 12 items that I have, that makes each item just $0.72 cents each, which is a really nice price for that, you guys. So that is everything that is on this receipt, $0.72 cents each for each item. That's an awesome deal. And so right here, I just have some clearance price clothes that I found at my store. I didn't pay over two dollars for any item so this is just a little shirt that i purchased for my son um tasty waves and i think this shirt was i want to say a dollar yeah so this shirt right here was priced at one dollar and then i got this little red shirt right here and i always um get my kids clothes in about one to two sizes higher than what they currently wear just in case they don't get a chance to wear the shirt they will have it for a later time and then this shirt right here was priced at four dollars and 88 cents as you can see i did get it for one dollar i got this shirt right here for probably a dollar as well let's see um I don't know it doesn't look like i have a tag on this shirt but i was able to get this shirt i'm pretty sure that shirt was priced at, at a dollar i know something rung up for two dollars i'm not sure what it was um this shirt right here 
doesn't have a tag on it but it was priced at a dollar i'm just gonna assume it was priced at a dollar and then i got this little shirt right here this was priced at a dollar also and the regular price for this as you guys can see was four dollars and 44 cents i got this shirt here lime green shirt and i'm pretty sure this was priced at a dollar and then i was able to find some shorts and these right here i don't see a price on these but these may have been two dollars i want to say that these probably were two dollars i went ahead and got two pairs of these two pairs of shorts and then here is another blue shirt for my son which i was actually surprised to see that walmart actually had some clearance price clothes for my son because normally whenever i go there i'm always able to find nice pretty clearance price clothes for my daughter never nothing for my son so when i was able to find these yeah that was a really nice steal so i'm pretty sure that all of the shirts were a dollar and then i want to say that the pants may have um rang up at two dollars and then I got this cute little shirt for my daughter. Now, I know for sure that all of her items were a dollar. So I got this shirt right here. Pretty much says good times. Let the good times roll. I got that shirt. I got this shirt right here. Bakery. I think this is cute. And then I also got these little cute pants. And all of this right here that you see was priced at $1. I wish it still had the tag on them because I wanted to see what the regular price was. Oh, the regular price for this right here was $4.97. And then I was able to get it for $1. And so same thing with this pair. Um, $4.97. Got it for $1. And so these are, are some shorts. And then this right here, I'm guessing it's like a little, I don't know. It's it's different from that. I think it's like some sh some shorts as well. And so this is super cute. And so I got this also at $1. So check your stores, you guys. I know for sure that Walmart just recently had a ton of clearance on toys. Um, I didn't get any toys because I'm trying to get my kids more of, you know, learning products rather than just get them toys. So I didn't get any of that. But check your stores, check your clothing sections. Just because I have this as my at my store does not mean you will have it at your store. So just check. So that is going to be pretty much it for this video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to check your Avada accounts and your Fetch Rewards accounts. If you are not using Fetch Rewards, I will have that link in the description box below along with my code on the screen for you. When you sign up using my code, you will receive 2,000 points, which is $2. And then same thing with Ibotta. If you are not using Ibotta, I will have the link in the description box below along with the code on the screen for you guys. When you sign up using my code, you will receive $20 when you redeem your first offer through Ibotta. So super easy way to get $20. And with that being said, you guys, I will see you all in my next video.